Hey everybody, Kevin here from KME Creations. Today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to spice up your text a little bit. We're going to really give it that pop that you're looking for. As you can see on the screen, it just has some basic bland text there. Uh, it says click here to add text. So let me go ahead and add some text so we can play around with this a little bit. And I'll just put in, uh, oh I don't know, thank you for watching my videos. Okay. All right, so as we can see, there's no border around it. It's got one bullet point, which is fine. We're going to take that out of there just because I don't really like bullet points too much. I have a different way of doing it. It just really makes it flare out a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we took out the bullet point. We're going to go ahead and make this text centered. And how we do that is we just go ahead and highlight it. As you can see at the top, it'll give you the option to uh, center it, rather. You have some options here. You can do left, center, right, and justify. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and center it. Now, as you can see, you have these nodules around the text box itself where we can adjust it and make it any size we want to, basically, because we're using the original text box that, came, that was on the slide. Before we added anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we have it highlighted, go up here to quick style, and we're going to add a style to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick, uh, oh there's a lot of different ones here, there's just a line, different colored lines, we should be able to do several different things here, so we're going to go with, uh, oh let's go with uh, nothing too obnoxious let's just go with gray okay so right now we have gray and as you can see it really makes it stand out on the page and what we're going to do if we want to change that we're going to right click on it and go to format shape now here is where we can change all kinds of different things okay so what we're going to do is I, I really I don't like that color too much so I'm going to change it and I don't really have any colors in here that I like. These are all very basic theme colors. We're going to go to more colors. And I'm going to try to see if I can pick out a brown in here. This is always the most difficult part of it. All right, let's go with, uh, well, I, I guess. Ah, that looks okay. Kind of a skin tone, but it uh, looks all right. All right, so we have kind of a, a tone there, and it only affected the bottom one. As in my previous videos, it has to the color that you want to change, or the portion of the slide, or the gradient stop that you want to change has to be highlighted with that little orange uh, highlight there. And that's really not. Uh, let me see if I can darken it up there. There we go. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted the brightness to darken it up a little bit. So I'm going to do the same thing for this middle one. I'm going to go ahead and get more colors and uh, let's go with uh, same color click OK use our brightness to kind of darken it up a little bit more and we're going to do the same thing here so all three colors are pretty much the same we're just adjusting the brightness by either going left or right with the brightness so let's go like that and we'll take this down a little bit up a little bit okay so for right now that looks pretty cool all right really pops uh, especially since the background is white I'm gonna change that here in just a minute but I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna go back into our format shape and our line color is still not the same color that we want so we'll click on line color go down here we're gonna pick one of our recent colors which is brown and click close and see how that looks no, oh, not too bad, not too bad. All right, we're going to go back into format shape. Now, you can add different things to these. We're going to add a bevel to it, top and bottom, then close it. See how it really pops out on the background? Uh, let me give you a better example here. Let me go ahead and change this background color. Uh, let's do a gradient color. And, yeah, that's pretty much the color I want. Let me uh, go ahead and take this out of here. And we can do like this. And 
let's reverse these a little bit. Let's go like that. And adjust our brightness some. There we go. And apply to all. And, and there you have it. You can really make your text areas pop out. We can do another. Let's go ahead and insert another text area here. Go up to the top. Click Insert. You want to do a text box. And there you have it. I want to insert another text. Um, okay. So, again, like we originally started with, we have nothing surrounding this. It's just text. We can go ahead and right-click on that, do a format shape. And uh, let's do a solid color around that while the fill color is going to be gradient like our gradient up top here it stays the same well let's go ahead and change that just a little bit let's uh, lighten this up just a little bit and this one we're going to darken up some and there you go and 3d format let's add our bevel shape to that and there you have it you can do this with one line of text or ten lines of text, however you want to do it. And you can adjust your sizes here. You can make it smaller, more boxier. Uh, you can add some more space in here. And it doesn't change the interior of the box. You can add text in here however you want. So that's pretty much how you do that and you can use whatever colors you want this was just an example thank you and have a good day